Welcome to this bite-sized episode of the Paywall Podcast with me, your host, Nick Day. These are short snippets from my main podcast show, which is the go-to source for all things related to payroll. Featuring experts from the world of payroll, these bite-sized episodes are going to share key insights, nuggets of information, tips, and best practices to help you navigate the complex world of payroll. And remember, if you ever need support recruiting talent for your payroll team, please do get in touch with either myself or my team at jgarecruitment.com. For now, sit back, tune in, and let's talk payroll. But from your perspective as an expert in this field, what do you see coming down the line in terms of automation of payments as it relates to payroll and, and within the corporate space as well? What, what are the kind of things we should be looking towards or what's coming that we're not quite ready for yet? Or, you know, maybe it's in the offering. I don't, I don't know. But tell me about a bit about the future of, of global payments, because we've never really talked about that aspect of payroll on the podcast before. We talk about the process and the transaction element, but not the, the payment process. So I'd love to get your view on, on what, what, what's coming. Yeah, I think... It- Certainly, earn wage access and you know access to real time uh, pay is certainly coming, um, if not here already. Yeah. I think that that element, from our perspective, is more about the payroll provider and the the employer uh, connecting to some of these earn wage access schemes or banks. Like again, to use Revolut as an example, they just came out with a salary advance product. To me, it's more about connecting to what the consumer or the employee is potentially using and meeting them where they are um, yeah. rather than kind of forcing a, a new solution onto them. So I'd say that about earn wage access. I think when it comes to um, wallet payments in general, like in the US, we have Venmo, PayPal is global. Obviously, PayPal owns Venmo. You have the M-Pesa, which is a mobile wallet in, in Africa. You have Alipay in in China and other um, just sort of e-wallets. I think organizations and payroll companies are going to have to, again, meet the employee where they are and be able to pay into those wallets. We certainly do. And then the whole crypto blockchain piece, I I think uh, it's very interesting. You know, I'm, I'm super interested in it. I think from my perspective, I don't see... You know, employers saying, "Okay, here's your salary in in crypto. Okay. Um, we're going to pay you Bitcoin uh, once a month. We're going to pay you the equivalent of your salary in Bitcoin." What I see is is again meeting the employee where they are. You have all these apps, Coinbase. You know, there's a there's a ton of different apps that have right. wallets where you can receive funds in and then do what you want with in terms of your your financial wellness, your investments. Um, and I think for for us, it's really about connecting to the employee where they are and allowing them to do what they want uh, with with their own um, money. And I think that's to me that's the future. You know, the crypto side is there's going to be many employees who are already you know purchasing crypto with their with their yeah. salary, but getting you know getting paid and having that as sort of your 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 base salary. I, I don't necessarily see that in the in the future. I hope you enjoyed today's bite-sized edition of the Payroll Podcast. Remember to subscribe to the show, share it with your payroll colleagues and friends, and why not also check out some of our previous episodes for more golden nuggets of payroll information that you never know, they may just help you along in your own payroll journey. But for now, I'm Nick Day, and you've been listening to the Payroll Podcast Bite-Sized. <laughs>